Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of The Topping Show is probably sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added reseller and services company with a special proficiency in IT security. Heck, I see their founder released twice a day. Gotta say he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me. See, that's the joke. If you're an IT leader or business owner, you can reach out to the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Also, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So, if you can click that button and tell your friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, going over to the business part of the podcast, you have lumber liquidators closing furniture stores and going bankrupt for good, unfortunately. Now, this comes to us thanks to the good old Fox business, which somehow is still in business. I can't but think I account for 89% of the web traffic these days, checking out every other day. I only partially jest, but I mean, liquid liquidators, it's sad to see them going. I mean, they had pretty good advertising. When I was a kid, I think my dad went there once or twice. They had a lot of commercials. They had pretty good airtime. You see them all over. But unfortunately, it looks like uh, recent years have not been so great for them. Now, this comes with thanks to Michael Dorgan, who's a writer over there, saying, quote, LL Flooring, hardware store once known as liquid liquidators, or sorry, lumber liquidators, to close 400 stores in bankruptcy proceeding. And the fact that they don't have their iconic logo is an abomination, to say the least. They have what looks like a very modern logo. Almost, yeah, it almost looks like it should be a banking institution with that kind of logo. That's a little disappointing. They used to have the one that was like actual lumber, which would make more sense. But nevertheless, they say, quote, Nation retailer LL Flooring, previously known as Liquid uh, Lumber Liquidators, had announced it was getting um, out of business after 30 years, filing a failed effort to find a buyer just weeks after filing bankruptcy. The Richmond, Virginia headquartered firm, which had about 442 nationwide stores open until recently, said it will permanently shutter after negotiations with multiple bidders did not result in an offer. The company announced on its website, company had said last month it had already initiated closing down at 94 stores. Known for offering hard service flooring products and being a formidable competitor to Home Depot, LL Flooring filed for relief under Chapter 11 U.S. Bankruptcy Court in the District of uh, Delaware in early August when the company saying it was secured $130 million in debt or in possession financing from an existing bank group led by Bank of America. However, under Chapter 11 rules, FF Flooring says that it required to achieve the highest or otherwise best offer for the company, business, or assets. And given the lack of a buyer, it determined the sale of the individual assets, holding closing stores as stores doing doing sales would deliver the most value to creditors. CEO Charles Tyson said, quote, as a result, it is with a heavy heart that we must let you know that we're going to begin the process of winding down F uh, LL flooring business and closing all of our stores. Just even more heartbreaking when they say that the closure will result in around 2,000 workers losing their jobs. Now, that's according to CBS. Tyson wrote that the closing sales begin uh, last week and will be held for 12 weeks as they start closing the stores slowly but surely. Orders currently in place for installations will be fulfilled within 30 days, and orders for new installations have stopped. Tyson continues saying, quote, We look forward to offering you the great deals through the closing process. We have been proud to serve our customers over the years and thank you again for your business and returning to our us for your flooring needs. Liquid Lord, um, sorry, Lumber Liquidators was founded in 1994 by Tom Sullivan, a building contractor who began purchasing excess wood from other companies. The company quickly grew to be one of the largest retailers of hardwood flooring in the country and expanded in Canada in 2010. Now they noted that the company had been navigating choppy waters since 2015. Reports suggested that Lumber Liquidators laminated flooring products had high levels of cancer-causing toxin formaldehyde, which had been imported from China. Or, let's be honest, when we see or hear that word, what we really hear is China, but I only partially kid. Say formaldehyde is found in the glue that manufacturers use to produce composite wood products like fiberboard, which forms the base of laminate flooring. That report from 60 Minutes causing the shares to immediately drop, wow, 23% to 39.73. Following that report, stock crashed to 82 cents to 2 cents since filing Chapter 11 bankruptcy last month. And it looks like they rebranded in 2020 to LL Flooring, which, I, again, that's such an uninspiring logo. I, I, mean, I mean, the old logo is literally just a piece of wood, which makes sense. It's liquid, uh, lumber liquidators. I, I'm not sure why I was finally speaking enough to today. However, if you do me a favor and click that subscribe button, I, I have a theory that might help. When I first started the show, barely any subscribers, barely any followers, but as I slowly but surely gained more followers and subscribers, I have slowly but surely improve my speaking. So I might argue it's just a modicum of improvement, barely anything at all. However, I think it is a statistical improvement. So if you can click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. It will make the show better. I theorize. I mean, the, the old logo was just so iconic. They built that logo for decades. I remember, I can still visualize it in my head when I was a kid. Now, that is just ridiculous. 
Now, I am interested. It is interesting that Home Depot or Lowe's did not make an offer for the company. Home Depot was it one or two fiscal quarters ago. I believe they spent about $23 billion for a company headquartered out of McKinney and similar distribution of raw materials for homes, specifically targeted contractor type of customers. So it was interesting that they didn't, maybe, maybe the bid wasn't enough, but yeah, given just the inventory and the customer list alone would be worth something to someone, granted going through bankruptcy, people will be buying some of those assets for pennies on the dollar, but it's said to be what used to be one of the iconic sources for wood material. And again, hopefully the 2000 employees are being like, oh, we're able to find jobs from the competitors. I mean, I mean, to, I mean, just coming off the top of my head, Home Depot and Lowe's being the two of the biggest competitors in this product in this type of category. And hopefully none of them are unemployed for too long, but it's sad to see yet another business bite the dust. And who, who knows, maybe one of the laid off employees will be inspired to start their own business and might even, you know, eclipse what was liquid, a lumber liquidators. But I mean, and totally speaking, I'll, I mean, I personally, granted, I've unfortunately been in a position where I'm uh, renting most of my life. Uh, somebody hoped to own a house, but it's one of the instances where I haven't had a need to procure the products. But have you ever been there in the past, you know, five, 10 years? And did you even know they rebranded? Let me know in the comments because, as always, be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I really appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make show it better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.